Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out one of the brand new Walmart exclusive. This is from NECA Toys and featuring the Ninja Turtles movie. That's right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990, the best Ninja Turtles movie, uh, I think we can all agree. It's got Casey Jones and April O'Neil, and they're doing their whole farmhouse uh, routine, right? Screen Acres, if you will. The photography on the back of the box is fantastic, and really, it's an odd two-pack, I'll say that right up front, but I think this is more for capturing all those beautiful moments using toy photography, right? So here's everyone involved with the creation of these two figures, and then, of course, here's the barcode as well. So, very excited, right? Big uh, Ninja Turtle fan. It's an, uh, you know, just to reiterate, it's an odd two-pack. Let's just be honest. But, in either case, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Farmhouse 2-Pack by NECA Toys. And while I got all you Mr. Eds here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, take a look at the uh, two figures and everything that you get in true NECA form, right? You're going to get a ton of accessories in this two-pack, like... Well, you get two extra head portraits for each of the figures. So you have the standard April O'Neil, and you got the standard Casey Jones, and they both look like they're actors, respectively. Very nice sculpts. Give it to them all day. It's like I'm holding the, in a creepy way, the heads of the actors, right? Elias Cotius, and of course, Judith Hogue. And then you get a, a sweet katana blade. It's nicely painted, of course. A lot of katana blades and a lot of toys I've been looking at recently, right? You get the Casey Jones mask. It's just meant as a prop you hold, right? One of the figures, whatever you want to do. Then you got the equivalent of Gatorade, and you have the Carnuba Turtle Wax, right? So it's actually pretty well done. It's not quite Gatorade, wink, wink, right? But uh, you get the idea. It's pretty pretty dang cool to have a little mini bottle of this. And then you have the Carnuba Turtle Wax, which is actual products, right? And then you get... Don't lose these. In several years, we'll all check back to see if we have these still in our collection. Three little colored pencils so that you can uh, color pencil your way to some Ninja Turtle drawings. Actually, pretty cool. They're just pieces of paper, but they're nicely printed. It's nice that they had these included, right? Top of all that, you get a hammer, you get a pair of binoculars. So, very cool. Again, very... Very teeny tiny, right? You can even look through the binoculars. Just kidding. But you also get a wrench as well. Just one wrench, though. So old Casey Jones and Donatello can call each other names while they're fixing the truck, right? And then for all these accessories, you get a ton of extra hands to hold them. And I'll show you the, the pencil holding hand. That's my favorite one. Nice job on that. But with April O'Neil. Now, she does come with her own little stand. And, uh, yeah, Judith Hogue perfectly captured here. I think they did a great job utilizing her look from the old movie. And you can see the two head portraits simultaneously, right? Just to see them up close. The shirt, the pattern. I mean, they've printed it perfectly. You got the little pencil skirts. I like all the different sculpted lines in there. It looks like fabric. Now, they have improved upon the joints for these human figures, right? So you got single-jointed knees now, and you have single-jointed elbows on April. You're not going to get a whole lot of movements with the legs, you know what I mean? Because she is in a pencil skirt. But you get the usual. This is one of those characters where you pose them and you leave them. And I'm not expecting her to be able to do, like, karate moves and somersaults and everything else. It's April O'Neil. You get the idea, right? And then you have Casey Jones, which, yeah, he's uh, got updated articulation as well. I like the head portrait, of course, with the mask. That's Casey Jones. And he's in his sweatpants and his wife beater. And he's got some sweet shoes, 80s shoes. Yeah, I'm talking about It's pretty cool. I like all the details. His sweatpants look lived in. You know what I mean? You get to see all the lines of everything it leaves nothing to the imagination with those old sweatpants am i right but single jointed elbows and he looks dang good especially with the elias cotia's uh, head right there you can put the well that doesn't look right hold on one second there we go that's a perfect example of why some actors probably don't like to do action figures right but like i said all the different hands all the different accessories you can take some pretty nice photos you get them all doing the naturalistic poses right holding the mask examining a 
katana sword you know how it goes on the farm it's just traditional farm things right drinking a gatorade while you spy on a bunch of cows or something like that i don't know but like i pointed out april with the pencils and the drawings and of course you have this really cool pencil holding hand which works perfectly yeah they definitely like that well done on that and here you can see all the different casey jones that have been released so far and I'll tell you this honestly, you can see all the different ones, how they differ. Now, you're not going to get a lot of Casey Jones weapons with this Farm 2 pack, as opposed to the other ones where you've had plenty of weapons and everything else, but uh, I think we're good on Casey Jones, right? Especially April, I'm going to say I'm good on April. I got the two looks I think I need for April O'Neil, right? You have her in her uh, Channel 3 news attire, or Channel 6, whatever it was back in the day. And then you have her in the farm attire, which both look great. You can swap out the heads and everything else. You can see how they've updated the knees, totally better on the new ones. And uh, just an FYI, Danny is still too small. <laughs> now that I see that, right? That's been kind of set in. Also, Loot Crate. Where's the Loot Crates, huh? Come on, Loot Crate. That's loot crate thing, not a NECA thing. And then you can see them all paired up with other humans in the Ninja Turtle line. You have Hamato Yoshi, you got a Rokosaki. It's a nice two-pack, by the way. It's very cool. But like I said, this two-pack, as odd as it is, right? It's like, okay, do I really need this? It, it's really for the photography, right? Especially with how spot-on these uh, movie figures are that NECA does. I mean, they're like little mini people in the rubber suits, and you got the actors and everything else. So... All in all, it, it might be different, it might not be for everybody, but it is definitely a nice, solid two-pack, and uh, it creates quite a nice family photo when you have all the turtles, Casey and April. So, that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Walmart exclusive, the Farmhouse two-pack featuring Casey Jones and April O'Neil. And as always, I am curious to know what you guys think about this two-pack. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? Have you already? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Farmhouse Ninja Turtles. <laughs> See what I mean? There's not many figures left for uh, Ninja Turtles in the movie. Like the first movie, we'll just say. I would like accessory packs up the yin -yang. That's where the most fun is. They always come out with something new. I say one thing and then they go, oh, did you forget this? And it's probably the case. But as far as what I can remember right now, I think I'm good on Casey Jones and April. I don't even have April with the uh, the exclusive slicker, right? So that's technically, that's, what, three April O'Neils. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have a cowabunga weekend. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.